Good day, students. Welcome to Science Grade 10 Tutorials. I am your teacher, Cherry, and I will be with you all the way to make science learning easy and fun. I know that you are excited, so let's get started. According to the Bashes Medra, it is the smile of a baby that makes life worth living. The system within our bodies that allows us to reproduce and allows us to make cute babies like this is a reproductive system. The human reproductive system includes the male sex organs and the female sex organs. Its major function is to ensure the survival of the species. The reproductive system has four functions. First, to produce egg cell and sperm cell. Second, to transport and sustain these cells. Third, to nurture the developing offspring. And last, to produce hormones. We will first discuss the male reproductive system, what are its parts, and what are its functions. The male reproductive system is a grouping of organs that make up a man's reproductive and urinary system. These organs do the following jobs within their body. First, they produce, maintain, and transport sperm, the male reproductive cells, and semen, the protective fluid around the sperm. Second, they discharge sperm into the female reproductive tract, and third, they produce and secrete male sex hormones. We will start with the external parts of the male reproductive system. First, we have the penis. The penis is a male organ for sexual intercourse. Once it is filled with blood, it grows erect and rigid. This allows or assists penetration while having a sexual intercourse. Glance penis. This is described as the rounded head or tip of the penis. And we have the foreskin. This is a retractable fold of skin that covers the end of the penis. Then we have the scrotum. It is a loose sac like skin bug which hangs below the penis. It holds the testicles, or also called the testes. It behaves like a temperature control system in regard to the testes because it protects the testes. The testes. Its primary function is to make testosterone, chief male sex hormone, and generate sperm. Epididemis. It is a coiled tube which is long and is placed on the rear of each testicle. Its main function is to store and transport sperm cells which is created in the testes. Now, let's move to the internal parts of the male reproductive system. First, we have the vas deferens. It is a muscular long tube that travels from the epididemis to the pelvic cavity. Urethra. It is a tube which carries urine starting from the bladder to travel outside the body. Urinary bladder. It is a hollow muscular organ in human and other vertebrates that stores urine from the kidneys before disposal by urination. Seminal vesicle. These are responsible for making up the maximum volume of the male's ejaculatory fluid. Prostate gland. It is a chestnut-shaped reproductive organ located directly beneath the urinary bladder in the male which adds secretion to the sperm during the ejaculation of semen. And the last we have the Cowper's gland. Two P-shaped glands in the male located beneath the prostate gland at the beginning of the internal portion of the penis. 
They add fluids to semen during the process of ejaculation. How does the male reproductive system function? The entire male reproductive system is dependent on hormones. Hormones are chemicals that stimulate or regulate the activities of their cells or organs for the male. What are these hormones? First, we have the follicle stimulating hormone. This is necessary for sperm production or spermatogenesis. Next, we have the luteinizing hormone, which stimulates the production of testosterone, which is necessary to continue the process of spermatogenesis. Testosterone is very important in the development of male characteristics, including muscle mass, their strength, fat distribution, bone mass, and sex drive. We are done with the male reproductive system, so let's go to the female reproductive system. This is designed to carry out several functions. First, it produces the female egg cells necessary for reproduction, called the ova or oocytes. Next, it transports the ova to the site of fertilization. The fertilized egg is implanted into the walls of the uterus. If fertilization or implantation does not take place, this system is designed to menstruate. This is the monthly shedding of the uterus lining. So, let's discuss the different parts and the different functions of the female reproductive system, and we will start with the external parts. First, we have the labia majora. These are pair of rounded folds of skin and adipose that are part of the external female genitalia. We have the labia minora, also known as vaginal lips. Small lips, or nymphrea, are two skin flaps on either side of the female vaginal opening in the vulva. Clitoris. This part of the female reproductive system is covered by a skin fold term as the prepose. Similar to the male penis, it is sensitive to stimulus and can turn erect. Now, let's move to the internal parts of the female reproductive system, and we will start with the vagina. Vagina is a canal which joins the cervix to the external portion of the body. You can even call it a birth canal. The hymen is a membranous tissue found near the entrance of the vagina. Next, the cervix. This is a, cylind a cylinder-shaped neck of the tissue that connects the vagina and uterus. It is located at the lowermost portion of the uterus. Uterus. It is a pear-shaped hollow organ which is home for the developing fetus. Fallopian tube. They are narrow tubes which attach to the upper portion of the uterus. They act as tunnels for the egg cells. Fembrae are small finger-like projections at the end of the fallopian tubes through which eggs move from ovaries to the uterus. And last, we have the ovary. These are oval-shaped glands which are small and are located on both sides of the uterus. They produce hormones and eggs. How does the female reproductive system function? Like the male reproductive system, hormones also play a very important role in the female reproductive system. And what are these hormones? First, we have estrogen, a reproductive hormone in females that assists in the endometrial regrowth, ovulation, and calcium absorption. It is also responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics of females which includes breast development, flaring of the hips, and a shorter period necessary for bone maturation. Progesterone. 
This is a hormones that assist in the endometrial regrowth and inhibition of the follicle-stimulating hormone and mutinizing hormone release. Follicle-stimulating hormone for the female stimulates development of egg cells called the ova, which develop in structures called follicles. Luteinizing hormone plays a role in the development of ova, induction of ovulation, and stimulation of estradiol and progesterone production in the ovaries. Estradiol and progesterone are steroids hormones that prepares the body for pregnancy and they also regulate in menstrual cycle. Now we are done discussing the, the different parts of the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. Thank you for watching students. This is your teacher Cherry. Always reminding us, sulong edukalidad para sa bata, para sa bayan. Maraming salamat po.